think we're live. I think we're good. If I set <laughs> if I set up my audio right, everything should be working right now and you should be able to hear me. Hopefully. Hopefully. I have a whole new audio setup now, so I, like my MacBook, I I always say this, it's always going to explode, but right now it's really going to explode. Like you should my fucking setup right now looks like Dr. Octopus. It's horrible. It can't be healthy for my computer, but we're, we're going to go with it anyway. Let me know in the chat if my mic works and if the music, the background music, is a little too loud or too low. You let me know. You let me know. Um, but, yeah, everybody, welcome to the second ever Cat's Kill Records Slugfest. I hope y'all had a good week. Uh, it's going to be a beautiful Friday night. There are some amazing, amazing artists that are performing tonight. People that are going to really take care of you. It's going to be real fun. Um, you got a whole blend of styles in this lineup. The first slugfest was unbelievable, and this one is just going to follow suit with that. You know, We got Zalaxia and Aiden Chick. Um, Aiden is a very good friend of mine, and he is just a super multi-talented at everything dude. Um, many of you will know him from the analog horror video he did on my channel, which is now the number one video on my channel. Insane. So everybody give it up for Aiden. Um, he's coming up first, and let me tell you, Aiden's set, I have never seen so much production put into an online set ever. I mean, this is like this is like Porter Robinson Sky Festival, whatever it was called, level. Um, just wait till you see this set. This intro set is insane. Um, and then we're gonna, you know, go through everybody else, obviously. And um, before we do though, real quick, there there is some announcements I wanna make. Obviously. Um, brand new record over at Catskill Records dropped today. Desert Sand Feels Warm at Night on vinyl. Um, Drifting in the Sea of Clouds. It is an incredible slush wave piece. And I just have to thank everybody so much because as of right now, let me just refresh here. Let's see. Let's do a little refreshy. As of right now, we are... We, we had 300 for sale. And in total... Let's see how many, how many there's left really quick. There's 20 left. 20 records left. I can't believe it. So thank you to everybody who picked one of these up. If you do want to get one and you're thinking about it, I suggest doing it now because there's only 20 left. And um, I'm going to be pushing these out, trying to get them all out by Bandcamp Friday and like before it ends. And uh, tomorrow, I'm shipping all this shit. I'm getting it out of my house. So I, uh, I want to ship it all out. So if you guys want to pick one of these up, uh, it's available on the site right now. There's only 20 left, and I'll be sure to give a shout-out if any uh, orders come through. And um, also, really quick, another another quick announcement. I'm going to be making two surprise drops on the record label during this festival. S like, both drops are super, super limited things. I'm not going to tell you what they are. They're super, super limited. It's I'm going to announce it randomly. I'm not going to tell you when it's going to happen. So stick around this whole damn show because you're not going to want to miss what I'm dropping. Um, I'll announce those throughout the uh, the festival. And uh, let's see, anything else I got to say before we begin? Um, it's it's weird being live. I haven't I haven't gone live in a very long time. I've just been so busy, and uh, it, it's nice to be live and see everybody in the chat. What what's going on, chat? Let me let me see some love in the chat. Who do we got? We got Dan Mason. Dan, I was just in Florida like two weeks ago but i wasn't really in melbourne so i couldn't see it we're gonna make it happen soon i promise i i actually drove to florida and back in a in the same week um like two weeks ago or whatever what's going on antonio what's going on cat corp is in here liminal gardens in here shout out to liminal garden one of my favorite labels right now if you want to see some incredible physical releases go check them out um I've, I've done a video on them too it's the cassette 25 only thumbnail one so Go check that out. We got a whole bunch of people. The J Fluffy, how you doing? You've been in here for uh, a lot of my uh, live streams, so thanks for coming back. Um, Fake Fever is in the house. Fake Fever is the OG, the OG Catskill Records uh, dude. Justin Wharton, oh, what's up, Justin? Justin's one of like the best illustrators on the damn planet. This is like I love doing these live fests because. You just, you get like a whole blend of people in here and it's, it's really cool from like artists to label owners to like Justin, who's a, you know, illustrate all that stuff. It's just, it's great. But, um, we're going to get started in about five minutes, maybe 
Um, we're going to start off, like I was saying earlier, we're going to start off with Zalaxia, which is Aiden Chick. And this is an insane set. I've, Like I said, I've never seen such production put into an online set. It's going to blow you all away. Uh, take it from me, I like film myself. And then I overlay a graphic on my video, and it looks fucking terrible. So seeing something that, like, Aiden sent me, um, I've only seen, like, 10 seconds of each set. I just wanted to make sure they worked. Uh, seeing what he what he sent is is nutty. So you guys are you're in for a treat. Um, shout out to Mashu, who just bought a, uh, a Desert Sand Feels Warm at Night vinyl. Big love. Thank you for uh, picking one up. Um, but Chad, how are we doing? How are we doing? Anybody got any big plans coming up this weekend? Uh, how's everybody's week? What's going on? What's everybody listening to? What What did everybody cop on on Bandcamp Friday? There's a lot of good releases that came out today, so I want to I want to see the chat. So talk to me, babe. I want to. Let's see what's going on in the chat over here. And what snacks we got? What drinks we got? What's the move? What's What's the grub? What's the situation? I got my Dunkin' Ice Coffee. I always, I always try and get like a nice coffee when I'm doing like a festival or something. So I, I got my iced coffee going. Mink Curry just started their vacation. Very nice, very nice. Tupperwave is in the house. Just woke up hungover from the launch party. Tup's watching all the way from Australia. So big, big also, I'm sorry, but I'm bumping into my damn, my damn mic. <laughs> um, hold on. We're gonna get started in like what time is it right now? We're gonna get started in like three-ish minutes. Let me uh that's why I put this in the chat. I put this in the chat. S All right, Slick's got some Wendy's because why not? What do we get? We get the four for four. What do we get from Wendy's? And, and I don't think anybody ever like nobody ever orders a baconator. That's like the only two things I know from Wendy's: the baconator and the four for four, and the snack. Oh, the crispy chicken snack wrap. That's some good stuff. That is some good stuff. Cocaine for toothaches. What's up? Says picking up taco truck. Okay. There we go. I, I can't really see the chat. All right. Tobor says, going to see a Twin Peaks firewalk with me screening tomorrow night with a Q&A. That is amazing. We actually still, my girlfriend and I have to watch season three. We watched firewalk with me, which I thought was amazing and was like such a, obvious like jarring shift from the tones in the show and it was like pretty scary um yeah catacorp how are we doing how's it we got we got like i think almost everybody who's performing tonight i think is in the chat so and, and yeah one one more time before we begin just to run through everybody i guess um besides aiden aiden's coming up first um I mean, I always would, you know, I always get this like Porter Robinson vibe from him. Um, an amazing, amazing person who does a lot of stuff. So that's going to be really, really fun. Uncle Squids, who actually, like, from what I can remember when I first started the channel, this dude, like, commented on all my videos when I, f I mean, like, I must have, my sub count must have been in like the low hundreds. Um, so Uncle Squids has always been showing some love for the channel, and it's very exciting to have Uncle Squids on. They've worked with Desert on a collab album, and when I reached out to Desert Sand Feels Warm and Night about doing the Cats Kill Slugfest 2 and who we wanted to have in the lineup, he was like, I gotta have Uncle Squiz in there. So, uh, that's gonna be a real fun set. Then, right smack in the middle of the show, we got Desert Sand Feels Warm and Night. The best slush wave you can get out there. Every set that dude does is just a trip, and I've actually had... This is gonna be the third time. I think Desert is the most... Is the artist who's performed the most at my festivals or online music like things whatever ever this is like his third time performing um, he did it at the, the first slugfest and the home run derby if anybody remembers that then we got zero who comes out after uh, zero is a producer and an artist from belgium who i have a whole bunch of respect for if you guys follow him on twitter you already know like you're scrolling down twitter and those like beautiful renders he does those like PlayStation 1 era 3D renders are just gorgeous and um, I actually worked with him on a release on Catskill Records the latest cassette release that dropped um, was this like dark ambient project and that went really well that was a lot of fun to do too so shout out to Zero 
And last but not least, I can't even say batting cleanup because he's not batting fourth, but batting fifth, um, <laughs> the one and only Cat System Corp. What 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 else can I say about this dude that I haven't said already? Cat Corp was was the first person I ever really talked to in the vaporwave scene, especially on the channel. If you go all the way back, like three years ago, I did an interview with with Cat Corp and. Um, I know for a fact at that point, like I didn't even hit the thousand subscriber mark yet. And still like today compared to back then, I'm still pretty much like, I feel like the same person in a way. Like I, I'm, I'm still just a fan of all this stuff. And I, you know, I get like goosebumps, like just like collaborating with these guys as much as I did back then. So, so much love to Cat Corp who's uh, shown the channel a lot of support and, um, I've worked with a whole bunch before. So it's just the, the whole lineup is just a bunch of great energy and um, some amazing, amazing musicians that I am so blessed to uh, call good friends. So um, if you're in the chat and you're an artist, like besides you five, like if you're an artist, please feel free to um, post your links to your music, whatever. I think uh, my channel will always just be a platform to allow people to collaborate and find one another and, you know, make some music and discover new music. So. Uh, feel free to you know promote yourself and and all that stuff you know we don't bite here we're all good um but we're about to we're about to get started we're about to get started uh real quick before we begin once again thank you all so 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 much for coming out to the cats kill record slug fest 2 uh thank you for always showing love and support to the channel thank you to everyone who picked up a vinyl release today let me refresh see if i got any other orders i'm i'm gonna shout you out if you pick up the record during this stream i will shout you out I'm talking, of course, about the brand new Desert Sand Feels Warm at Night record that dropped on the label today. Uh, big shout out to uh, Virtuous Nut, who just bought a record, and Boss XD3. Two more orders came in. So as of right now, there are only two, uh, two, I'm sorry, there, there are only 17 records left of the new Desert Sand Feels Warm at Night vinyl. Uh, we are absolutely blown away by the support. A lot of work went into that release. And um, it's a very special one for me. You know, I, I just I can't believe today's the day and it's time to to get this out. So let's get this show on the road. Though. Everybody get a little hype. It's Friday night. I got my iced coffee. We're, we're rocking. I got a really good candle going right now. This like I went to Home Goods with my girlfriend the other day and we she was getting all like furniture stuff, whatever. I, I always got to stock up on my candles. I'm a big candle guy. And I got this like what is it? it's like a Christmas tree slash like. I don't even know what to call it. It's just real good, though. The house, the room right now is smelling great. So it's just a whole vibe, and I'm blessed to have y'all to join me. So I'm going to shut up. Let's get this show on the road. Everybody give it up for Aiden Chick. Throw the ones up in the chat. We getting this party started. You're going to be mind blown by this set. This set is fucking crazy. I've never seen anything like this before in an online set. So hype it up. Let's get it moving here, and uh, we're going to start with Aiden. All right, I'll see y'all on the other side. This is Alaxia and Aiden Chick at the Cats Kill Record Slug Fest 2. Let's get it.
up. That's my dude right there. That's my New Jersey dude. Everybody give it up for Aiden Chick. What a goddamn set. I told you. I told you. I, I only watched like 10 seconds of that when he sent it to me. And all, like even from the 10 seconds, I was like, what in the God's name is this? Like <laughs> crazy. Absolutely crazy. Everybody throw the ones up. Throw the X's up for Aiden Chick. Absolutely amazing, amazing performance. Um, I, I know many of you guys remember last Slugfest and mostly for any festival I do. I always try to get the artist on for like a mini interview after the set. Unfortunately, I have a new like audio setup and I realized like an hour before Aiden actually helped me test it. My MacBook cannot handle all this stuff. I got like two adapters going out to like an extra monitor to my audio interface. It's just a, a nightmare. So I wasn't able to pick up desktop audio as well. Otherwise, like my computer literally started making like, I don't know, like just crazy noises. It's been a nightmare. So. But uh, what we're going to do is Aiden is in the chat. So if you guys want to do a Q&A with Aiden for like the next 10 minutes before we do the next set, um, throw some questions at him and I'll read some of them out loud. And also make sure I know Aiden's posting his stuff right now. Everybody go follow him on all his stuff. Like I said before we started, Aiden did the amazing analog horror video on my channel from, you know, video creation to making music, this dude is amazing at what he does, and um, he definitely deserves a lot more ears, a lot more views, just go show him some love, and one more time, everybody give it up for Aiden, and um, yeah, amazing, oh, I'm kind of quiet, I can make it louder, hold on, I'll make, I'll make myself a little louder, uh, that, I think that's a little better, right, you let, let me know in the chat if this is all right, um, but in other news, everybody, I'm going to just let me check it one more time. Hold on before I say anything. Um, hold on. Hold on. As of right now, as of at this very moment. No, they're sold out. The Desert Sand Feels Warm at Night vinyl is officially sold out in under a day. Every single copy is sold out. I am absolutely mind blown. Thank you all so, so much for the support with the label and with this release. A uh, quick little, little backstory on that release. Um, it's been in the works for a very long time. A whole bunch of people got together to work on it from the artwork to the mastering, uh, to lay out everything and to see it, you know, come to life in, in vinyl is, is always uh, seeing so many of these releases in the scene come to life on vinyl is amazing. So, um, and I, I always try to keep quiet about the releases because I want to, when I announce the release, I always want to have it in hand. I don't want, you know, like to announce it and then got to wait three or four months or whatever. Um, so it, it was like hard keeping this one a secret because it was uh, a very special release. So we are officially all sold out. Thank you all so much. If you haven't already, make sure you're following the Catskill Records Bandcamp for two reasons. One for all of the uh, upcoming releases we're eventually going to do. And two, during this festival, I will be making two surprise drops, two very extremely limited drops. Two items will be going up during this festival. I will announce them randomly. So make sure you follow, you know, the label. You get a notification. I don't know if that's going to be enough. Um, it's going to be, it's going to go real quick. But uh, yeah, just stay tuned. I got two big announcements coming throughout the set of uh, the festival. And um, y'all are going to want to jump on that. So, yeah, big love to everybody. An amazing, amazing day. An amazing Bandcamp Friday. Once again, hit Aiden with your questions. And, um, yeah, I'll, I'll try and read some of them. And thank you, SCP2521, for the $5 donation. They say, when will it be available again? Any idea? Um, so, what's going to happen is now, because it's a 300-copy run, and when you order it from the factory, they always give you either a little less or a little more. Um so after all these orders go through, after I ship everything, just in case, let's say, you know, USPS messes one up and it gets broken, I have a couple extra copies always on hand. Once, you know, like some time passes by and all the orders go out and everything's smooth and nothing's really coming back as like, you know, hey, dude, my vinyl's all fucked up. Uh, I will throw those overstock copies up. There's, there's a very small amount of them. Um, I did it for the fake fever release. I threw a couple of those up. So in the future, I don't know when it'll be, maybe like two months, whatever it will be, I'll throw up a, a handful of them. Um, but as of right now, they are sold out. And uh, Corp says, Pad, I need some copies for our Here at Distro Repress. So one of the things, real quick, before we uh, talk about the next set that's coming up, one of the things that I'm going to make a number one priority for the next big vinyl release 
is doing um, setting up proper European distribution. And whether that's with Corp, um, with, with other labels, whatever it is, I am going to focus on that so much because the shipping for goddamn out of the U.S., um, just to cover my ass with like shipping materials and then just the shipping rates itself, it's so expensive. And it sucks because like many times it's more expensive than the damn vinyl itself. So for the next big vinyl release, I will definitely be doing a European distribution. Um, we're going to help y'all outside the U.S. get, you know, the records for cheaper. So and, and there's some there's some big things in the works at, at the label, obviously. Right now, I, it's going to be a long time for another vinyl drop. The last uh, I, I talked to the factory I used this week and they said right now the minimum turnaround time for once you put that order in is 30 to 34 weeks. That's almost a year. So the next couple releases are going to be CDs and cassettes, but I, I can promise you I'm going to give them the works. There's going to be some crazy packaging with these things and it's just going to be amazing. So yeah, be on the lookout always with Catskill Records and uh, some, some great stuff. Cobalt Road says, Aiden Chick, great set, my friend. What's up, Cobalt? Cobalt Road is one, also one of the first people I, I kind of heard in the scene. Um, Purgatory, right? The Vapor Trap uh, cassette. I think it was also one of the first cassettes I, I bought, too, off of Business Casual, from what, if I can remember. Um, so, yeah. Zero says, also huge European import costs if it's coming from outside. Yeah, dude, it's just, it's crazy. Like, it, it's It's nuts. Running a label, I say this all the time, I'm just learning so much shit as I go, and I'm just gaining so much more respect with every release I do for other labels, because there's so much goes into this. Like, my my, my damn house, I got all these records. Mrs. Chennington's like, where, where are we going to put all these records? It's just, it's they're all over the place, so um, it's just like little things like that you don't think of, you don't think of when you're starting a label, and then you start getting these physicals in, and it's like, where the fuck am I going to put all this stuff? So, yeah. <laughs> It's, it's fun, though. It, it's fun. This whole weekend, I'm going to be packing a lot of records, so it's uh, it's going to be a good time. It's going to be a good time. Next up, though, uh, we have Uncle Squids. So Uncle Squids, I said this before we started. Uncle Squids was one of the first people like I can remember commenting on my videos when I first started the channel. And it's finally, it's cool to work with them. It's finally cool to uh, have Uncle Squids on. And for those who don't know, Uncle Squids and Desert Sand Feels Warm at Night did a collaboration project on Here I Earth Records. An amazing, amazing album. And the vinyl looks like amazing too. I just I love that artwork. I said this in the interview with, with Desert Sand I dropped the other day. Um, I love like the blues, the whites, the reds. This is such a pretty album cover. And uh, you can check that out now. That's that's obviously out. So we're gonna get to Uncle Squids in a little bit. And um, yeah, I guess in, in other news, uh, what's going on? What's going on in my life right now? What's going on in your life, everybody? Let me know what's going on. I want to hear. I want to hear what's happening. We got some plans this weekend. What are we doing? The Knicks are doing good. I think we lost. We lost two in a row though. But the Knicks are good. So, any like anybody who lives in New Jersey, New York, who's like a Knicks fan, can always tell you that when the Knicks are good, just life is so much better. It's so much better. So shout out to the New York Knicks. <laughs> um. Cat Corp says they're working on a repress, special repress. So be on the lookout for uh, for that. And follow Corp's label too. There's just a ton of great stuff coming out there. Here at Records, Corp. If you want to post that link um, in the chat, I'll totally go for it. And one one real quick last thing before we go into Uncle Squids. For those who don't know, I am throwing a huge event in New York City. On November 26th, Friday, November 26th, a night of Future Funk, Vaporwave, all that good stuff. It's going to be me, Disco Holic, and Death's Dynamic Shroud. The the wackiest lineup I think I, I could have ever came up with. Just like all of us are, are it's just a whole trip. Like that as a lineup is going to be crazy. Uh, the tickets are on sale right now. I'm going to post a link to it in the chat if anyone wants to get one. If you're in the New York area or even if you're not and you want to come down for a good time, um, it's going to be an amazing, amazing, amazing show. Uh, the tickets are available now. And shout out to everybody who bought a ticket already, too. We, we sold a whole bunch. And I'm excited to see a lot of uh, fellow artists, fellow label owners, fellow just friends in general. And um, it's going to be a great time. So there's there's the link if anybody wants to go to the show. And if you can't go to the show, if you can, if you don't mind, spread the word about it. 
I really want this thing to be a damn party. It already is a damn party, but I want to get it. I want to just have all y'all in there. So um, there he is. There's Disco Hawk in the chat sneaking around. Ticks here. All right. Yeah. Click that link if you want to get tickets. Uh, they're out now. And um, it's going to be an amazing, amazing, amazing show. The first show I did there is the same venue I did Aesthetic Nights in with Fiber and Power PCME. Fucking banger show. Disco Holic was there. He'll tell you about it. It was so much fun. Uh, so this one, you know, we're going to try and, and set the bar even higher. You don't want to miss it. November 26th, me, Death Dynamic Shroud, and Discoholic performing in New York City. We're doing it big. We're doing it big. So, Morrison Production says, I'm in New Jersey. Tempting. Hey, buy that ticket. You ain't going to regret it. I <laughs> promise you that. Um, yeah. And then uh, let's let's start getting into the next set. So we're, uh, we're going to get into Uncle Squids now. I see Uncle Squids in the chat. Shout out Uncle Squids. Everybody, show some love. Uncle Squids, if you want, throughout the set, you know, post your links. Where can we find your music? Where can we follow you? Where can we get news and updates on what you're doing? And, um, yeah, this is going to be a fun one. Once again, everybody, thank you for coming out to the second Cats Kill Record Slugfest. It's an honor and a blessing to uh, have y'all with me here today and, and just to have support on the channel, have support on the record label. The, uh, the Desert Sand Feels Warm at Night vinyl is officially sold out, but like I said, I'm announcing two very limited edition drops throughout this festival at a random time, so stick around. You don't want to miss it because they're going to go super quick. So yeah, I'm Pat Chennington. <laughs> And uh, this is Catskill Records Slugfest 2. We're going to roll into Uncle Squid's set. Everybody, throw up the ones for Uncle Squid's. Let's get this set going. Let's get this party going. Uncle Squid's up next. Oh, and before we do, I'm sorry. I fucking, I have so many things to announce and do whatever. Aiden Zalaxia sent me a very special video that he wants to play before I move on to the next set. So some, some things that are, are in the works. And uh, we want you to check this out. So everybody, give this a look. This dude don't stop. This dude don't stop putting out stuff. Everybody, debut album from Aiden Chick coming 2022. And that, he made all of that. Like, he made all of that, you know, animation right there. So, big love to Aiden one more time. Go follow Aiden wherever, uh, whenever you can. Twitter, SoundCloud, everything. And Aiden, from me to you, dude, uh, it's always an honor working with you. And I can't thank you enough for submitting that analog horror video during guest week guest month because it's the number one goddamn video on my channel <laughs> not even a video from me so amazing amazing but everybody we're gonna get into uncle squids now one more time i know i know i said throw the ones up before for uncle squids but throw them up again throw the twos up throw the twos up we're we're moving on from the ones throw the twos up got another amazing set coming your way this is uncle squids live at the cat's kill records slugfest 2 hi i'm Uncle Squids, and this is my house. I'm gonna give you a tour, and we're gonna be playing some unreleased music, mostly unreleased music, in the background. Welcome to my crib. 
Yeah.
at you today, 20 years later, and they still have no idea what you're about. Tell me in a sentence who you are.
all the time I got. I gotta go home and play Animal Crossing New Leaf on my Nintendo 3DS. Alrighty, we are back. Everybody give it up for Uncle Squids for another amazing set. I said it before, Uncle Squids is like one of the first people I remember who ever commented on any of my videos, like when I was first getting started. And uh, it's awesome to have them drop a set on the Slugfest. And Squids has worked with Desert Sand Feels Warm at Night before. Big collaboration album you can find on Here at Records and a whole bunch of other work. Um, so definitely go show Uncle Squids some love. If you want to post your links in the chat, Squids, go for it right now. Bandcamp, Twitter, whatever you want to post, throw it in there. And, um, yeah, show them some love, everybody. So give it up for Uncle Squids one more time. Throw them up. We're on the twos now. Throw the twos up in the chat. Throw the twos up in the chat. And uh, we're going to start get rolling into uh, rolling to the heavy hitter because we got Desert coming up next. Um, one more time, today was the big day. We dropped the brand new Desert Sand Feels Warm and Night vinyl, and it is officially sold out. So thank you to everyone who picked one up. I do want to run through some of the names because I said I would like, if anyone picked one up during the stream, I would uh, I'd shout some names out. So let me uh, let me go. Let me go to the orders. Let me go to the orders here. All right. So big love to Matthew, Linda, Mari, William, John, Christopher. Daniel, Andrew, Mark, Alex, Brian, and Jacob. I think that, that should be it. But just in case those are mixed in with just past orders throughout the day, <laughs> I'm going to go through what I see on my dashboard. So we have uh, thank you to Veggie, Mary, um, hold on, go through here, Gabriel, Ricardo, J.H. Campbell, Bill Brin, and Alex, Twisted, Ian, Reiki, I think, and Faded Saint. I think I got everybody. I think I got everybody. So thank you all for showing some love and support on that new Catskill Records release. And uh, if you were here earlier and before both sets, I did say I was going to drop two surprise releases. Not, re not releases, not the word. Two surprise items during this festival. So you are all the only people who know about this since you're in the chat right now. Um, they're super, super limited items, and I'm going to drop one of them in about five minutes. So um, I'm going to announce that. I'm going to give you all a chance to go to the Catskill Records page if you are interested in it. Um, because once I make the notification for this, I'm sure it's going to go very, very fast. So I want to give you all a head start since you, uh, you showed up. Also, um, oh, Uncle Squids going on a date. Everybody say bye to Uncle Squids. Thank you again for performing. And uh, one more time, real quick. Uh, actually, I, I just got to announce this. Miss Chennington, everybody get, throw the ones up for Miss Chennington. My girlfriend just made an amazing dinner. What was it? Chicken homemade mac and cheese. <laughs> say hi. Oh, say hi to everybody. Go on, the, go on the mic. Say hi. Say what's up. What's up? I don't think you can't hear. You got to go into the mic. How close am I supposed to go? You got to go close. Hello? Yeah, look. Here, put the headphones on. And they, look, you'll hear yourself. Put the headphones on. Watch. Now talk into the mic. Hello? Isn't that cool, right? It picks it up. What's up? <laughs> Everybody throw the... What's your favorite number? Nine, right? Isn't your favorite number nine? <laughs> what is your favorite number? Yeah, my favorite number is seven. Seven. Throw the sevens up for Miss Chennington in the chat. <laughs> Dang, it was very delicious. It was very good. That's the thing with these festivals. People don't realize. When you, when you run them, you get so hungry and like thirsty and you just don't want to get up because you don't want anything to get fucked up in the stream. Um, so, yeah, shout out to Miss Chennington. They want you to release an album on Catskill Records. Sh I'll be practicing DJing, like, because I got that show coming up in November. I'll be practicing DJing, and then you, she just comes in and starts just clicking all the buttons on my uh, on my ex DJ. So may maybe maybe one day we'll get a Miss Chennington set. At the I'm remixing your music, making it better. Uh, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. That was that was very delicious. Thank you, and, and thank you to Uncle Squids, once again. Um, but now I want to announce the first special secret release that you are all gonna know about first, and I'm about to make it live. So if every if anybody out if I'm sh sure a lot of people are gonna be interested in this, so I'm gonna announce it now. I am about to drop. 
I am about to drop. Oh my God, Mac and Chennington, <laughs> yes. That's our that's our DJ duo name when we perform live together. And I just look at <laughs> making it better. Yeah. <laughs> All right, everybody. I'm about to announce the first special drop of the night. If you go to Catskill Records in about a minute, I will be putting up five, only five, test pressings of the Desert Sand Feels Warm at Night vinyl. Only five. Luxury Elite wants a... Look, at now she's like pointing at the chat because the name keeps on. I want a Miss Chennington remix record one day. You got to start learning how to, how to make music and then you will make a remix album. I think it'll be good. Oh, you have to get the new uh, Animal Crossing update. It came out. A long time ago, I said Miss Chennington was going to have like Animal Crossing streams on the channel. So you got to get the... It came out uh, yesterday or something. Um, so yeah, right now... All right, I'm about to drop it. Five test pressings of the new Desert Sand Feels Warm at Night. It's about to go up on Bandcamp. So I'm going to tell y'all now before everyone else gets the notification when I save it. So I'm about to click it in like 20 seconds. Um, and once again, everybody... Thank you for uh, just the support on that new late on that new record. Let me put the link in the chat. So if anyone's interested in the test pressing, um, once again, these are gonna go. This is gonna go fast. So I want y'all to be there first if you are interested. Um, thank you for coming out Chatter to the Chennington. Cheddar Chennington. <laughs> Cheddar Chennington. <laughs> pressing all the buttons. That's art in some way. It is. It is. Some, sometimes when you click some of the buttons, it makes like a cool, a cool weird loop. So, Cat Corp, I know it's late by you, dude. Everybody, um, show some love for Cat System Corp too. He'll be performing at the end of the festival. Um, amazing set coming up from Yorn, so it's gonna be great. Everybody, give it up for Cat Corp. But now, all right, I'm about to do it. I'm about to drop that test pressing. So five of them are going up right now. If you want one, go to the page. They're gonna go super fast. So best of luck to anyone who picks one up. And I already got them packed in the box. Like, in e each are ready to go. So I will ship them out tomorrow morning when I wake up. So they are going live now. They should be live if you start refreshing. They should be there. They should be there. Best of luck. And, um, yeah, let's, uh, let's start talking about desert. So desert sand feels warm at night is up next. I mean, this whole event is for desert. We're celebrating the new release at Catskill Records sold out already um we are so thankful for all of y'all's support and um yeah any any desert set like i was saying earlier he's done three sets at my festivals over the years and um what whatever uh miss jennings says peace out everybody <laughs> i'll do it later um so desert's done like three sets for me before and um all of them are amazing and if you if you caught our interview they sold out already oh my lord did they really that was fast all right well uh, apparently they went, they went already so congrats to the five people who got it i i am doing one more very limited edition release um during this set, uh, the, during this festival, so still be on the lookout. You got one more chance to get something pretty special. So thank you to everyone who picked up uh, one of the test pressings. Um, but yeah, Desert has done three sets in the past for me. And if you caught our interview that we did a couple days ago, um, I'm, I'm uploading like clips to the Catskill Records YouTube channel, which if you don't follow as well, I'm going to put every single one of these sets up at the uh, throughout the week. I'm going to put them up. So uh, go follow, I'm gonna post that link, the link to the Catskill Records YouTube channel. So yeah, go uh, go subscribe to the Catskill Records YouTube channel if you get a chance, I'm gonna throw all these sets up. Um, but if you caught the interview, what, what makes Desert Set so special, and I'm so happy he brought this up because I totally agree with what he's saying, is he, like with these slush wave sets that he does, he can do just so much stretching and warping of those like outro portions of tracks that they seamlessly mesh into the next ones and he just combines them with these like Chinese music videos from like the 80s and 90s and just throws a ton of color on them and they become so blurry 
and you end up creating your own journey through the music and through the set for yourself. No matter what's going on on the screen, like everybody has their own experience with the visuals. And I think Desert does it very well. And he's someone I look up to truly in the scene from his music to just how he's really evolved that slush wave sound, you know, with that, that self sampled production is just brilliant. Um, so, yeah, big love to Desert Sand Feels Warmer Night. Big love to everybody who's performed so far. And uh, once again, if you're just hopping in, this is the Cats Kill Records Slug Fest online music festival showcasing some great talent throughout the scene. We have a really nice blend of styles tonight, and I am always honored and blessed to have them and y'all with me. Um, very thankful for it all. So it's amazing to hold this festival, and yeah, make sure you follow all of them on their social media, SoundCloud, Bandcamp, whatever it is. They put out great music, great content. And uh, we're going to get into that next set. So let's get into it, everybody. This is Desert Sand Feels Warm at Night. The Slush Wave legend, Slush Wave king, if I may say so myself. Uh, Desert is killing it. Absolutely killing it. And we got an amazing set coming up for y'all. So, yeah, let's get this show on the road. Enjoy, everybody.
we really we really do be crying in the club right now <laughs> amazing always amazing everybody give it up for desert sand feels warm at night I, I like I don't even know what else to say about desert um, at this point like the whole past like two weeks I've just been talking about how amazing his stuff is and how much he elevated that slush wave you know corner and scene and those slush wave festivals that he did with vapor memory and tim um just amazing stuff all around and uh it's really nice to see a lot of names in the chat too like days of blue for example i really didn't know who you were until he told me about you and how you performed at the slush wave festival and how that festival allowed so many other people to discover all these other great artists that you know you might not hear about so um yeah, it's, this is amazing. It's a, it's an awesome gathering of people right now, and I'm very thankful to have you all here with me. But I hope you're all having a good time. Uh, let me turn my volume up. Hold on. Let me know if this is too much or if I, it's, I don't know. I <laughs> can never tell. Um, yeah, thank you all so much for coming to the Catskill Record Slugfest 2. We still got a whole ton of great music to go. You just heard Desert Sand Feels Warm at Night. We dropped that desert... Um, vinyl today which sold out i cannot believe it sold out i have a lot of folding and shipping to do tomorrow and uh, we also released five test presses before the set surprise little drop and i do have one more surprise drop so do not leave because it's another one y'all are going to want to jump on it is a super limited amount and i'll be um i'll be doing that soon but how are you all doing everybody how's the chat doing thank you for coming out on a friday night beautiful friday night at least in jersey it's like nice and chilly we're getting close to the holidays like it's good I, I love this is my favorite weather like 45 to 50 degrees that's the move that is the move but uh yeah got a lot of awesome people in the chat what's going on everybody what's up matt what's up binary deconstructive what's up digital sex what's up amoxa slasher omega who else we got liminal garden still in the chat much love to liminal garden so much love to Liminal Garden. I said this before, but if you don't know Liminal Garden yet, go check out that label. Bar none, the most beautiful physical releases I have ever seen in anything music or like amazing stuff. So definitely go check out Liminal Garden. And uh, yeah, everybody use this chat, like use this opportunity to uh, to collaborate and uh, you know spread your work and and whatnot. You all know me. Like this this channel is just as much your channel as it is mine. And I will always, the number one goal is to just have a platform for anybody and everybody to uh, share their music, grow their music, and work with other people. Meet other artists, and like I always say, discover music you already love, you just didn't know about it yet. So that's the uh, that's the move always. And uh, yeah, I mean, I just saw another comment. I'm in New Jersey. I'm, I, I'm like, I'm like... I always tell people like when they ask like where am I in New Jersey I'm like 20 minutes from the shore I'm like kind of by Asbury Park for those who know where that is and uh, if you're in New Jersey if you're in that area if you're in New York I said this uh, before the desert set but I got a big show coming up it's going to be me Discoholic and Death's Dynamic Shroud performing in New York City on Friday November 26th it's going to be a fucking party of a night uh, tickets are on sale now. You can get them now. I will post the link to uh, the tickets. And if you can't go, if you're not, you know, if you're super far from us, if you don't mind, uh, spread the news. Share the link. I'm trying to get as many uh, people to know about this show. We really want to uh, have a good time with y'all. So here's the link. There's that. Yeah. All right. So we, uh, a whole bunch of stuff in the works. Uh, I guess before we get into uh, Zero, who's up next, and shout out to Zero. I think you're still in the chat. Um, and sorry if I keep bumping my headphones into the mic. I, I just set up, like, the microphone arm on my desk for the first time, and it's, it's pretty revolutionary. Like, I don't know how I ever didn't use this for live streams before. Um, I guess a little update with the channel. I know the past couple months I haven't been releasing videos as consistently as I used to maybe, like, a year ago. Obviously, a big part of that is due to the Caretaker video I worked on forever. And now that that's out, you know, I kind of, I'm not going to lie, I do feel a little, like, burnt out when it comes to video content right now. I'm in this, like, weird zone. I do have videos planned that I'm going to be working on. Um, but usually, like, I'm always, always ready to just work on a video. Like, I could always think of a topic. Um, but between, you know, that Caretaker video just burning me out and the record label and now working on the live shows and trying to get more live shows for 2022, 
I'm kind of all over the place. I'm kind of all over the place. So, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm kind of like stuck on what I want to make a video about next. So I think what I'm going to do is for the remainder year, I'm just going to kind of work on the label, work on um, the big show that's coming out in November, the end of the month. And then uh, 2022, we're going to come in hard. And the first video we're going to do, and it's something a lot of people have been asking for for a long time, is a full, complete music collection tour. My entire vinyl collection, my cassettes, any of my retro games that I got left, I, I like put in some shelving this week. I really cleaned up the collection, and I just want to do like a really long tour video with you guys, and just maybe share some stories of uh, records that I've gotten along the way of collecting, and just like weird ones and crazy stories, my autographed ones, and like all the test presses, and um, yeah, just that'll be a lot of fun. And I have some other videos in the works too, so. You know, I, I would say, like, video-wise, I'm going to really jump back into it at the beginning of next year. Um, but that's an update on me. Besides that, got a big a big UFC fight tomorrow night if anybody watches UFC. So I'll be having friends over for that and some family, and we'll be doing that. And then December, I'm chilling. I'm chilling hard in December. Uh, what, are, what are my new thoughts on the new DDS album? So I didn't get a chance to listen to it yet, but I heard, like, a snippet. Anything from Keith is fucking amazing. Keith, like, I really think Keith Rankin is... He's just another one of those individuals that are just, like, untouchable. Like, he's just so good at so many things, from, like, art to music in general. And, um, you, you know, it's funny, like, with DDS. Like, I'll tell y'all a story real quick, and then, we'll, then I'll shut up and we'll go into <laughs> Zero. But I've seen Death's Dynamic Shroud live a lot. And I've seen mo mostly James, obviously, because James is in Philadelphia. He's one of the three. If you don't know, Death's Dynamic Shroud is really a trio. It's James Webster, Tech Honors, and Keith Rankin. And they're, like, all over the country. So very rarely you'll find... I, I, recently you've been seeing them perform together, but uh, James and Tech will perform together. And I had the, the honor of seeing them at the first Electronicon, and that was an unbelievable set. But for the most part, I always see James, because James, pl James plays in Philly a lot, and I play in Philly a lot with, uh, with Skeleton Lipstick at Terminally Chill. So I actually was able to play with James, like, a month ago, and um, whenever you think of DDS, at least for me, like, I always tend, to, I forget that Keith is in that, gr like, group. Like, he's part of Death's Dynamic Shroud. So when you listen to, like, a DDS album that has him in it, there's always, like, a special touch to it. You know, like, his, he brings, like, such an industrial and, like, like weird, clanky sound to it. And um, this new album now, I'm very excited to listen to. I forget the name of it, but it just came out. And uh, I think you can only get it in the DDS like uh, fan club. It's it's got like a skeleton, like a bunch of eyes with a skeleton girl or something. I don't know, but I know it's gonna be real good. I've heard a lot of good stuff about it, and I do gotta give it a listen. Um, but yeah, like I've seen DDS a whole bunch of times, and I, I get so used to James and Tech, but I always forget about Keith. So uh, yeah, always other says skeleton lipstick is so good. Yeah, I love skeleton lipstick. That that's another dude that just nonstop works on like bringing people together. You know, those terminally chill shows are so much fun in Philly. And um, the one we just did like a month ago, I think, was a blast. So and I'm always excited to play live and just and meet a bunch of people and and whatnot. Callahan says, Man, I wish there was a vapor slash electronic community in New Zealand. You know what? I mean the scene has grown so much already over like four years. I don't even think it really feels like now that things are opening back up. It it seems, at least for me on the East Coast, it seems like something's happening every week. At this point, between Philly, um, and I would say really like Philly and California. So, like four years ago, I would have never thought that would be the case. So who knows what's gonna happen in like the next four years or whatever. Um, so there's a lot of stuff happening in the UK now too, which is kind of cool. So, yeah, I guess just things are going to keep growing. And um, that's that's pretty much it. But, uh, yeah, everybody, thank you once again for coming to the Catskill Records Slugfest 2. I still got I got y'all for a little more. Like, we still got a lot more music to, to cover. And um, actually, I'm like, out of breath. I got it. I still got my iced coffee. The, it's melting. Hold on. All right. <clears throat> we good. How are you all holding up in the chat? Let me know. How we doing? How we doing, everybody? Any good Bandcamp Friday pickups? Um, what else is going on in your life? Let me know. I want to hear it. I'm chi I'm chilling. I'm gonna be here for a while, so <laughs> let me uh, let me know. Um, what else can I tell you before we go on to zero? 
I gotta hurry up, Zero. If you're still in this chat, I'm sorry, dude. You're in Belgium, and it's probably so late, and I'm just, like, talking my ass off. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, let, well, let me talk about Zero. I, I would say, like, I said this in the beginning, but I'll say it again. Zero is another just awesome, multi-talented dude. You go on Twitter, follow him, because every once in a while, you get some really sweet... 3D rendered artwork and it's just really nice and refreshing for your stream. I've worked with Zero before in the past. I've had him on for uh, live sets. He was at the Home Run Derby. We got him on tonight. I did a release with Zero on Cat's Kill Records and uh, it's an honor to have him back as always. I love working with Zero. He's a great dude and um, doing some really great stuff. So we're going to get into that uh, in a little bit. And um, one more time, if you don't already, I will share the link. You can find all these sets. I'm going to upload them throughout the week. I also have a whole bunch of other live sets. If you're looking for new music, I mean, I must have at this point like over 50 live sets from previous festivals on the Cats Kill Records YouTube channel. I also have a bunch of music on there, music videos, interviews with artists, just a lot of great stuff. So definitely uh, subscribe to the YouTube uh, slash Cats Kill Records. I'll be uploading all of these sets throughout uh, the like, next two weeks, I would say. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And one last thing before we begin the Zero set. Like I said earlier, I got another big surprise, another very, very limited drop I'm going to do on the label tonight, and I'm going to announce it after this set. And I'm going to give you all a heads up when I'm about to drop it, because I'm giving you guys, you know, priority, since y'all are chilling with me. Um, before I and release it on Bandcamp, y'all will be uh, prepared for the drop if anyone wants to pick it up. So it's another another really sweet one, and um, you're gonna definitely want to hear about it when I announce that. So that's pretty much it's pretty much yeah. That's all I can think of right now. That's all I can think of. I'm chilling. I'm chilling though. I'm having a great time. Great music. Great people in the chat. It's always a good time. So yeah, Zero's got a lot of new stuff in here. I want to read out. So he's a bit of an improvised set of entirely new recent tracks and fresh renders after a rather long hiatus. So, yeah, and Zero, as always, dude, please share your links in here. Where can we find you? Where can we find your music, your art, and how can we support you? Share that shit. Put it in the chat. But uh, without further ado, let's get on with it. This is Zero, live at the Cats Kill Record Slugfest 2. Thank you all for coming out tonight. I hope you're having a great time. I hope you're cozied up comfy big old fluffy blanket whatever you need to stay warm and cozy i hope you're doing it right now and uh, i hope i'm being a good host <laughs> i just i feel like i just annoy i'm just i don't stop talking that's that's my thing anyway i'm gonna shut up zero i love you i love you i love your work and i can't wait to see what you're doing in this set so everybody throw the fours up for zero actually no what am i talking about throw the zeros up for zero because we're about to go live baby
All right, y'all. Let me. I gotta say something. I want whatever the hell that goose is having. That was some beautiful goose. That was a gorgeous goose. I gotta say that diamond, that all diamond exterior on the goose. Great touch. Great touch. Everybody, give it up for Zero. Always a pleasure working with Zero. Always a pleasure representing Zero's work. And uh, just beautiful stuff all around. Like I said, I love that like point and click PC adventure vibe. And I think Zero does that so well. Um, amazing, amazing individual. Zero, throw uh, your links in here so everybody could follow you wherever you're at. To your art, your music, whatever it may be. And um, I'm going to announce that next super limited edition drop. That's going to be happening on the label literally right now. And you guys will all know about it uh, before anybody else. Because once I click that lot, like that publish button, then, uh, you know, everyone else will get notified. But I'm going to let y'all know what it is uh, since y'all have been chilling this whole time. Um, I hope you're all doing well. Who's been here since the beginning of the stream? We, we've been going out for maybe almost like two and a half hours. It's so funny. Like, I look back at the block party I did which was the first festival I did and that was 14 hours I think of streaming and I remember the first two and a half hours going by so fast but not like right now I feel like I've been here for like five hours not saying like it's a bad thing I'm just literally just sitting here you know just getting lost in these sets and it, it feels like time's just moving so slow but that block party set the block party festival was so like fat like the two and a half hour mark came so quick I don't know I guess because I just knew I was in it for the long haul and this is kind of shorter but um, yeah, big love to Zero, and that's uh, that's gonna bring me into the announcement of this of this uh, limited drop on on Catskill. So, many of you will know uh, Zero. A couple months ago, we worked together on bringing one of his projects. It was a dark ambient project called Drowning onto Catskill Records as a limited edition cassette of forty copies only, and those are long sold out now. Really fun to bring that cassette to life and work with that like super dark artwork and the colors and I tried to kind of play on that in the packaging like you can barely see anything um, and the OV strip is kind of like the only light in a way that kind of pops out um, so for those who are interested I am putting up seven only the whatever I have left over from the overstock like those extra little copies I had um, just in case there was any uh, like broken cassettes that went through to anybody and I had to you know send them an extra copy or if a shipment got late uh, lost or something um, I had a couple copies set to the side so I kept one for myself sent one to zero and um, I have about seven I believe left and I'm about to put those up on Bandcamp so if you want one of those super limited edition cassette this is it this is all I literally have left these were the backup copies and uh, you're going to get a chance to uh, grab one if you want now. I'm about to uh, put those live. So if you want one of those uh, from Zero, Dark Ambient, really, really great stuff. It is about to be on Catsco Records in like 20 seconds <laughs> about. So let me uh, let me put the link to Catsco Records in the chat so you all are there. If you want one, of course. Um, copy. Boom. Okay. There you go. There's the link. I'm about to uh, make it live now. So, best of luck if you want one. They are officially. Hold on. Officially live. That's it. This is the last of them. These are the last couple of cassettes. If you want to grab one, grab one now. And um, before we get into the corpse set, grand finale. Uh, I just want to say once again, thank you all for coming out. I hope you're having a great time. Lots of great music out there. If you're a musician yourself, please share your work in the chat. We all want to hear about it and uh, take this opportunity to meet other musicians and work together and keep on creating beautiful stuff. i am uh, always been very thankful for all the music I've covered over the years, and I'm always learning new stuff, and uh, I just always want more of it, so please keep making it, please. <laughs> um, yeah. Zero says, my not-so-secret alternate alias, including face reveal pick. Yeah, you got we got like a smoky pick on there on the it's a sick picture. I, I think it's pretty sweet. Um, there we go. All right, thank. All right, we got Emmanuel. Thank you for buying one of the cassettes. Mashu and Jitter. Jitter I don't even know what this is. Thirty-three. Uh, my screen's like so small on this uh, on this double screen. All right, 
So yeah, those are up now. That's it. That's all I got left as of right now. Um, that is it. And then for anybody who wanted one of those desert uh, vinyl, like with this and like with every other one, I always end up getting extra copies from the record uh, factory. And I use those as backup just in case I have to ship one out for someone whose package got lost or it delivered to them broken, whatever. And eventually, you know, if everything goes smooth and you, you know, everything, everybody gets their stuff nice and safely, I will throw a couple of those up. And that, uh, that won't be for a little while, but it will definitely happen eventually. So, unless every single record breaks, <laughs> like if I just fucked every record up when I packed it, you know. So, hopefully that doesn't happen. But, uh, oh, apparently they're already sold out, so... <laughs> Thank you to everyone who picked one up. And uh, if you haven't already, follow Catskill Records on Bandcamp, on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram. We got it all. And uh, I always, you know, keep all the news for the label up on there and, and everything. Now do the fake fever tape. I literally have none of those left. That's the thing. Like, I did those overstocks, and that's all I got. That's it. Those are gone. Those are long gone. I'd love to work with fake fever again, though. Um... That I love that guy so much. So, yeah. Be on the lookout. More stuff at Catskill Records coming soon. Some great stuff I got in the works right now. And I will figure out how to uh, get that European distribution up so the, you know, Europe, out of the States, prices aren't crazy anymore. Yeah, how we doing all? Everybody, you know what? Let me know. What was your favorite set of the night so far? And, and you know, don't worry. It's not like you're putting anyone else down. I just... I love getting the conversation going. Who was your favorite set so far and why? And um, before we get into the cat, the, uh, the cat system corp set, once again, you're rocking at the Cats Kill Records Slugfest 2. We're celebrating the now sold out vinyl release of Desert Sand Feels Warm at Night. Thank you to everyone who picked one of those up and thank you for coming out to watching the festival. Next up, we got someone who doesn't even need an introduction and an absolute vaporwave legend cat system corp uh, you want to talk about mall soft now you want to talk about ambient stuff he's doing too at here earth records his label just so much stuff always from cat corp and uh cat system corp was at the block party festival i did a while ago now and uh, this one is just as special so brace yourself for a great closing set and um yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to see this one too. I don't really watch these. Like, they'll submit the sets to me and I'll just breeze through them. Like, I'll just click through them just to make sure they're working and like everything rendered out right. Um, so this one I, I don't really know anything about. I just like clicked through it a couple times. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, thank you, Tupperwave. I love you, Tup. Some beers for my boy. Love your work, mate. Never stop. Tup, you are the best. Tupperwave's coming to the States for a little bit, right? Like, you got a, a little while. And... For anyone who's been on a live stream, and whenever Tupperwave joins, I'm always talking about how I'm either going to get his ass out here to do a show, or I'm going to get my ass out to Australia and do a show, even though I don't fuck with those spiders or whatever you guys got over there. I, I'm going to be scared the whole time, but I, I will go to Australia to do like a show. Um, but now that... Uh, oh, Triple Bev's in the chat. What's up, Triple Bev? Uh, Triple was in my... Uh, caretaker video for anyone who doesn't know so big love to uh, triple beppo desert sand make me feel off the booth zero squids and zero got some good visuals yeah the, uh, the visuals in these uh these sets i think were like just top notch um and then also like that eden chick you know not really like visuals per se but just like the camera work i i think what i'm gonna do is um once we finish the cat corp set and then pretty much just wrap up the festival uh, maybe I'll throw on like another set or two uh, I'll just like replay a set you know let me know if you guys want to see any other ones again or if you didn't see ones before and you came in a little late I mean, I'll throw some you know I'll throw Aiden's on because Aiden was right at the beginning so I'm sure there are people who weren't in, in there uh, in here for that set and I'm like I keep bumping into the mic I'm getting used to this I've never had like the metal arm mic attachment on my desk it's fucking revolutionary i don't know why i never did this back in the day i used to like i had my yeti microphone that barely worked and i was like hunched over it's a fucking nightmare but this is way better i don't know why i've, I've never done this um and also thank you to everybody who's donated during this stream 
And I always say this too, and I, I always forget to say it in the beginning. Um, if you do want to help out, support the channel, um, definitely check out my Patreon. Let me get the link for it. I have a whole bunch of perks there. One of the biggest ones is access to our uh, patron-only Discord server, Club Channington. If you're in that server and you're here in the chat, you know how great it is. It's an amazing community of people, super supportive. Uh, we're always talking about music, record collecting, movies, uh, physical releases. We keep each other up to date. And it's just a great place to kind of just, you know, collaborate, give good criticism, um, and just, you know, bounce off of one another. It's an amazing, amazing spot. So if you want to uh, support the channel, get a couple of really cool exclusive benefits, you'll see it all there. Uh, here's the link to the Patreon page. It really goes a long way. Patreon is pretty much the number one thing that helps support this channel. So to everyone who supported me on there, thank you so much. And to everyone who's donating tonight, thank you. The, the Patreon, if you're a patron, there's everything from you get a Twitter follow, uh, your name in the credits of my videos and the descriptions, um, all this good stuff. So if you want to support the channel and uh, join Club Chennington, that is the link. Patreon.com slash Pad Chennington. Uh, that's pretty much it. Hold on, Miss Chennington's back. What's up? What? Oh, okay. Uh, no, you just uh, you should go to the Nintendo shop and you can download it. I'll do it after. Miss Chennington's an Animal Crossing freak, and now that the update's out, <laughs> she's got to get it. So I, we will do, Miss Chennington will do some Animal Crossing streams one day on this channel. I will make it happen. I've said it in the past. I will make it happen. <laughs> so, oh, and Rail, real quick, while I got you here, dude, I know you saw it, but I dropped Heart Shaped Brain in Philly, and I found the perfect song to mix your track out of into the other song, and um, I'm probably going to throw that in my live set in Manhattan, so... Uh, Th that track it goes so hard all the time and when I dropped that in Philly everybody lost it like I just cut the last song out and just went right into that kick drum in the beginning it was sick so uh, yeah J Fluffy says those new villagers are lit they really we watched the direct and they really look like they loaded up on everything in Animal Crossing so it, remember does everybody remember that like remember when when COVID first hit what happened? No, it's not free. It's like 20 bucks or something. Remember when COVID first hit and everybody was playing Animal Crossing? I think it was the so much fun at the time. And every anytime, like if you put on Animal Crossing, you pop that into the Switch and you hear any of those sounds or songs, like you just go right back to that moment in time. It was so bizarre. Um, yeah. Animal Crossing was fun. It was definitely fun. Anybody get Metroid Dread? I've already, I did the normal story and now i'm doing the hard one i'm trying to 100 percent it but that game was really good i'm sure everybody knows that that game was sick <laughs> so i don't know like before before we go into the final set of the night it's kind of early it's kind of early so i get i i think i've said this like every single set so far but how's everybody doing is anybody working on any music some art what's going on this weekend we got anything fun happening what you pick up for Bandcamp friday and uh, yeah, let me know in the chat. Let me know in the chat. Um, I'll hype up Corp a little bit. If you don't know who Cat System Corp is, he's dropped some of just the most classic of classic Vaporwave albums over the years. Um, from News at 11, Class of 84. You got uh, Palm Mall, Palm Mall Mars. There's a whole bunch of stuff. And now he's really working on that record label pretty hard. Here at Records, if you want to go uh, show some love on that. So, Binary Deconstructed is working on a weird, soft rock, slush wave concept. You know, I hope, like, all this stuff with Desert that I've kind of been hyping up, I really hope it opens the door to more just, like, non-sampled production in slush wave. And nothing against samples. Obviously, I love... I think, like, slush wave should always feel like a sample is present, like an old sample. Um, but I'd I would love to see what other people can do with the genre. Because I think it's such a beautiful, luscious sound, and there's a lot of potential to really evolve it. So, yeah. Um, let's see what else is going on in the chat right now. What else is going on in the chat? Joe Tomo picked up Drifting in the Sea of Clouds, of course. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to everybody who picked one of those up. 
Uh, how does anyone not know who Catcorp is from Zuna? I think I gotta fix the resolution on the screen. Yeah, I don't know. Catcorp was one of the first people I think I found too. Callahan says, I still need to buy a Switch. I've been waiting for the second hand prices to go down here, but they're still so expensive. Yeah, Switches are pretty expensive. I think I was in Costco the other day, and I swore, someone could tell me if I'm wrong here, but I swore like the Switch was more expensive than an Xbox Series S or whatever they're called, which that's pretty cool to see. So, yeah. Uh, Tupper Waves working on a Hauntology album with my dad. That's nice. Tup, I know Tup, your dad introduced you to the Caretaker, right? I think that's how you found out about him. Yeah, your dad seems like he has a really great uh, taste in music, so shout out to Tupper Waves, dad. 999 says, love Cat Corp. Thanks to him, I began making Moral Soft too. Joe Tomo is putting up a vinyl review tomorrow, then going for a hike and enjoying the weather. What do y'all have going on? Joe Tomo, if you have your uh, YouTube channel, if you want to link it here, I mean, I know I could just click your your profile picture there in the chat, but if you want to throw your your link, uh, go for it. Rick Deal says, yo, there were several brand new people to the scene in the chat. Big ups. Yeah, that, I always love it when like someone in the chat, like I've never, you know, I recently discovered all this stuff and it's, it's really good and and uh, that's the whole point of the channel. It's all, you know, um, I'm here for. I just want to give artists a spot. So, yeah, I'm going to shut up. Let me move on. Let's let's get on to this set. Uh, Cat System Corp is coming up for the grand finale of the Slugfest. If you're just tuning in, we still got a lot more to do. This set is awesome. So, definitely stick around for it. And then after, I think I'll, I'll replay, like, the Aiden set. Uh, just in case anybody missed that. Because that was all the way in the beginning. So, yeah, Cat System Corp is coming up. Thank you all for an amazing night. I'll still be here after the set. I'll hop on the mic again. Um, thank you, Liminal Garden. Thank you, and thank you guys all for coming out and watching these things and just watching my videos in general and hearing me talk. <laughs> thank you. I, I really appreciate it. So, uh, and Rail says, LFG, let's fucking go, Cat Corp. Yes, sir. It's, this is a great set. So from what I've seen in the pictures, like I, I love, I love like purely visual sets, but I also love like when the artist is up front, like right in the set, like live, because it kind of feels like a, a real concert you're at. So this, that is this Cat's Corpse set. He, he there, he do be vibing in the set. So let's get it going. Everybody, this is Cat System Corp, Vaporwave Legend, the grand finale, the moment y'all have been waiting for. Uh, we're about to go live. Once again, you're at the Cat's Kill Records Slugfest. If you don't follow the label, my record label I've been working on for the past couple months, Cat's Kill Records, you can find it at Bandcamp, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, everything. And all of these sets will be going up on the Cat's Kill Records YouTube page once the festival's over. Give it a couple days. I'll just gradually upload them. So, yeah, big love to all the performers tonight. Thank you to Desert Sandfields Warm at Night for working with me on his album on the label. And uh, just a lot more great stuff to come, so be on the lookout. And if you want to see some live Vaporwave Future Funk, like I said before, I'm doing a show November 26th in Manhattan, New York. It's going to be me, Discoholic, and Death Dynamic Shroud. Tickets are out now. I'll throw that link again in the chat for anyone who wants to pick one up. Hope to see you there. And if you can't, spread the word. Spread the word. Yeah, here we go, everybody. Cat System Corp live at the Cat's Kill Records Slugfest 2. <laughs>
Friday. Everybody give it up for Cat System Corp. I think the most important thing with all these festivals that we do, all these online sets, I I think the the most beautiful thing that comes out of them is I, I could definitely say this for myself. I just get so inspired to create after this. Like I just want to hop on to like my CDJ over there and just start getting my set ready for uh, the 26th. Um, you know, just start making more music, more content, whatever it is. And I hope it does the same for you all. You know, I hope these uh, performances kind of inspire you to uh, take that next step. You know, if you've always wanted to make music and you don't fucking know how, it's all good. Just, you know, take that jump and just try something. Just try it out. You know, whether you want to make music or, or videos, I don't know, anything. Just do it. That's all. Just don't be scared and just jump into it. And um, it's amazing to have these people come together and, you know, submit these sets for these festivals because it really helps me a lot. It really helps motivate me to uh, move on to my next thing or whatever I'm going to do. So I hope so. I hope that magic rubbed off on y'all a little bit. And I hope y'all had a great time. I'm going to keep the stream going for a little bit. I think what I'll do is I'll just replay the Aiden Chick set, which was awesome for those who didn't see it. Like, that was some of the best production I've ever seen in a set. So I'll, I'll replay that. Um, but much love to Cat System Corp. I, uh, originally, we had Christ on the lineup. Um, and we, we were working on this lineup for a while. Um, but he's super busy with a bunch of stuff. So I was talking to him a couple weeks ago, and he was like, I think I'm going to have to sit this one out, but we'll work on getting Christ back for a future one. So then I was like, all right, I got to fill the spot. Who should I get? And I was trying to think, you know, maybe someone who could relate to desert sound style, whatever. And I was like, why not Cat Corp? Let me reach out to uh, to Yorn. And as soon as I did, he was immediately down. He was like, can we try, you know, something different, maybe like an ambient set or something? And I was like, hell yeah, let's let's go for that. So, you know. We always think of Corp as, like, the mall soft, like, god, but <laughs> there's a lot of other stuff he's doing, too, and, and that's a great example of it. So, yeah. That's the Slugfest, everybody. Thank you so incredibly much for coming out. It was a blast chilling with y'all. I hope y'all had a great time. <laughs> so, no Christ break skateboard. I know. I know. We're going to get Christ back for a future one, definitely. And you can go. Uh, this is a good, uh, good opportunity for me to plug the Catskill Records YouTube channel. If you want to see some Christ live sets, definitely head on over there. I got the uh, Christ block party set up on the channel. So, yeah, one one real uh, one last time before we get into the Aiden set, um, just uh, to go over everything. Got a lot of new stuff coming in early 2022, but right now, biggest thing I'm working on and uh, looking forward to is the show I will be doing in Manhattan, in New York City, on November 26th. It's a Friday. It's going to be me, Discoholic, and Death's Dynamic Shroud tearing it up. Um, we're going to have a lot of fun at that show. So if you want to get tickets, they are out now. I'll post that link again. Let me grab it. We're going to party. I'm actually going to work on some of that stuff as soon as I end this stream later. So, yeah. Big love to Tupperwave. Tup, thank you for becoming a patron. I just uh, I got the notification during the set. So... Much love. Um, yeah, everybody, I hope you had a great time. What was your favorite set? Let me know in the chat. We're going to jump back and do the Aiden Chick set again. And I hope you all had a great night. So, yeah, thank you all so much. Thank you for showing love to the label. Please follow it everywhere you can so you can stay up to date on all upcoming drops. And that's it. I got a lot of big things in the work, and I can't wait to show you all. So, thank you all. Thank you, everybody. Have a great night. Do something special this weekend. You know, take that jump and uh, do something new. And if you always wanted to do something, make sure you do it because we don't, <laughs> we're all going to run out of time eventually. So uh, whatever you want to do in life, make sure you do it. That's all I got. Let's let's go back to Aiden. We're throwing it back. This is Aiden Chick Zalaxia set. This this shit is sick. Aiden, you're a legend, dude. This, this stuff is amazing. Uh, let's get right back into it. Thank you, everybody. Have a great night. I'm going to keep the stream going. Chill in the chat. You know, we ain't, we ain't ending yet. So uh, here we go. This is Aiden Chick. Live at the Catskill Records Slugfest 2.
All right, y'all. There we go. We threw it back. We did Aiden uh, set again for all 27 of y'all who are still in here. Thanks for sticking around, like, till after this Lugfest uh, festival is pretty much over. Um, so, yeah, everybody, I can't thank you enough. Thank you for coming out. Thank you for supporting these artists. Thank you for supporting what I do. And, um, yeah. I just, I always repeat myself. I could, I, I never have the words to, uh, you know, describe how thankful I am for all of y'all. And yeah, I hope y'all had a great time. Some amazing music tonight. And I hope y'all discovered some new music tonight. Definitely go follow all of them. Check out what they have to offer. And, uh, yeah, that's all I got. That's really all I got. I actually, I gotta, I actually have to use my laptop now because I got to start printing out some of these labels to ship the, the desert records. Um, Liminal Garden says we are not doing the whole thing again. I would, but like I said, I really got to get a start on these labels because then tomorrow I'm just, you know, doing labels all day and then I'm going to be busy at night. I'm going to be doing labels all day Sunday and then Monday I plan on shipping all of them out. I want I want all these orders out by like Monday, Tuesday, like Wednesday tops. I'm just going to go on my lunch break to the post office and I'll just try and get as many shipped as I can. So that's that's the whole plan. So, yeah, I hope you all had a great time. Definitely follow Cats Kill Records on YouTube, on Instagram, Twitter, on Bandcamp, obviously. That's where uh, all the stuff will be coming out. And all of these sets will be uploaded again to the Cats Kill Records YouTube channel. That's the move. But uh, thank you all again. Thank you for coming, and I hope you have a great night. Keep on making great music, and keep on sharing great music. And uh, take that jump. Always do what you want to do, and make something special. I love you all. Have a good one. Have a good weekend. We'll talk soon. Much love. Your boy, Pad Chennington.